You're looking for a babysitter. You're taking a night out on the town. Who's the first coach you call in the league to take on the role as babysitter? Oof. Uh, my goodness gracious. Wow. That is a good question. I'll go Rick Carlisle. Why would you go with Rick Carlisle? Well, one, I played for him, so I trust him. Ooh, probably Larry Brown. Probably Dwayne Casey, because uh, Dwayne and I go way back. I would probably call Kevin McHale. I suppose I'd have to go with uh, my buddy Carlisle, because I know he's a good man and I can trust him. I think it would be Popovich. Really? Yes, I think Pop would have a lot of fun with your kids. Really? Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. And he'd probably have them out there doing jumping jacks, and I doubt that, no. If I needed a babysitter, Brad Stevens. Brad Stevens. He's just like the boy next door. I like his demeanor. We played them in Sacramento one year, and Brad, probably the only game he's ever gotten thrown out of, he got ejected. The only time I've gotten tossed you were of any game. On the yeah. <laughs> and this is how nice of a guy Brad Stevens is. He gets ejected, and he's walking off the court, and he's yelling down to me, Hey, Mike, take care. I was looking around like, What's he talking to me for? Well, it would be Coach Vogel because I've known him for the longest and we basically started out our relationship from meeting in a park in Carmel, Indiana while we were both watching our kids play on the playground. Listen, I guess I was brave because Dennis Robin uh, babysitted for me once. Steve Kerr. Why Steve? Philosophical. Our babysitter was late and he, he said, I'll do it. And we came back and our kids said, we want him every time. So I'd, I'd probably go with Fred now. Uh, now that he's in the league. I mean, the house was a absolute mess. So Dennis didn't know the cleaning part of babysitting. And I'm glad you didn't ask who I wouldn't want as a babysitter. <laughs> well, that's actually the next question. <laughs>